Hey everyone, Bloom and Pachi here. So I have a fancy new tripod. Yeah, so we can do awesomer looking videos. Anyways, I wanted to explain to the viewers today, or my subscribers rather, um, what photo degradation is. Uh, a lot of misunderstandings that people have with plastic is that plastic is biodegradable. It is not. Biodegradable products, um, basically they, they can easily dissolve in the environment without interfering with it and without doing harm to it. Plastics, on the other hand, they are not biodegradable. They go through a process called photodegradation. Uh, photodegradation is basically when, here's, here's my art skills, okay? Ready? Yeah. So photodegradation is basically when the sun's UV rays, when they beat down onto a plastic product, that's my soda bottle, uh, the UV rays change, I guess, the chemical compound of the plastic. So uh, it basically makes the plastic more brittle. And then this is what happens. Okay, ready for my drawing skills? Here we go. When the UV rays change the chemical compound of the plastic and make it brittle, the plastic pretty much breaks, right? So for simplicity's sake, we're going to say that this bottle is broken into pieces, right? Right. As the sun continues to beat down and the UV rays change the chemical compound and make it more brittle, the plastic continues to break into smaller pieces. As it continues to beat down onto the plastic, those smaller pieces break into even smaller pieces. So you see where I'm going with this? The plastic just keeps getting brittle and it just keeps breaking into smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller pieces. It can break down to the point where it becomes almost like a powder. And I don't want to say this is when plastic is at its most dangerous because to me, plastic in any form is, you know, pretty dangerous. So uh, anyways, it can break down into pretty much a powder-like substance, right? Okay. Now, for everybody who likes to eat fish, like me, <laughs> small fish can mistake these plastic particles as food, and so obviously they'll ingest it, right? Now, the bigger fish that eat the small fish, the plastic pretty much travels up the food chain, right? A f the food chain, it always starts at the most basic, the, the bottom of the food chain. Whatever's at the bottom travels its way up the top. So when it gets to the part, to the bigger fish, up to the fish that we eat, right? That's my house phone, sorry. Um, the plastic travels up the food chain and then goes to us. So this is one reason why it's important to just make sure plastic doesn't get into the ocean or anywhere for that matter. Always try to make sure you recycle it or make sure it gets put somewhere where it won't do harm to the environment. <laughs> I know I must sound like hippie right now, but I promise I'm not. I'm just educating people on, you know, ocean awareness. That's pretty much what this video log and my blogs are for. So I hope you like my art skills and I hope I kind of opened your eyes a little bit on photo degradation because or well plastic in general because it's you know it's a pretty horrible thing so uh i'll post a web blog to follow so in case my uh talking explanation didn't quite make sense you can read along with better pictures obviously <laughs> um yeah web blog to follow check out my facebook's check out all my links in the descriptions in the box um on a side story, my truck kind of got uh, a little, got into a little trouble at a gas station today. So I would like to send a shout out to a young man named Joshua who helped me out. Uh, I don't know your last name and I don't know if you're on Facebook or anything, but if you recognize me, <laughs> thanks so much for helping me out. And one quick thing that I thought was really funny, when I went to my beach cleanup on Sunday, I don't know if you got all you Coca-Cola fan people out there. They had a like kind of um I guess a campaign 
of uh, like they had special coke bottles for sale during Christmas time and it was to help the polar bears in the Arctic well this is what I found at the beach yeah it, w it was at Kauai Harbor uh, again like I said plastic is not a good thing to, to be near the ocean so I'll uh, just make sure it gets in a proper place where it can be recycled small things like this are even still pretty dangerous because it's still plastic and it can still fold or degrade and it can still be broken into millions and millions of pieces and it's you know it's not a good thing um if you guys want to see some really horrible pictures i guess check out Cam i think it's a uh, camilo beach on the big island of hawaii uh, I think it's spelled K-A-M-I-L-O. Uh, it's on the Big Island. So that place is, is pretty terrible. Anyways, sorry for ranting on. Like I said, check the description for all my links and things. Kishutra boots. I'll talk to you guys later.